What's going on you guys, Michael here, and today I thought I'd bring you guys a much needed Wacky West episode because, let's be totally honest, I have not made one of these in quite a while. And I made a few changes. Uh, one is really big, the other two are pretty little, um, and one I did do off camera, and that is moving that RMC, uh, like you guys just saw in the first few seconds. And the next one is shortening this outrageously long queue line, I mean... Let's be totally honest, this thing was never going to be filled. We all knew it from the start. The boomerang line never is going to be filled, but I had to make it that long because the way the terrain is. So, sadly, I can't fix that one. Um, and then we'll get into the other biggest, best, and longest change later into this episode. Uh, because if we're being totally honest, it's, it's pretty cool, I, I will say. But I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Wacky West. This long w episode. It's about 20 minutes, so just hang in there, guys. Um, this is a much-needed episode. Anyway, you guys, just sit back, relax, grab a nice ice-cold beverage or hot tea or hot chocolate. I don't know what you guys love, but... I moved the RMC, and I don't know if you guys saw, this is times four speed, um, the line was packed. I mean, everybody's moving out here, maybe a food court or a kid's section out here, something tiny to get more people out here, not just to walk all the way out here for a launch coaster and an RMC, maybe a little bit of, of a flat ride collection. Um, we can definitely do more than one ride in this park, I think we could do that, because I also don't buy DLC packs. Um, I think it's just a waste of money and I'm really sad that, you know, um, the Shoreskoff looping coaster is not in Planet Coaster or anything. But at night, this is going to get pretty dark. I don't know why I had some of those spotlights or just that one. But I also extended the tunnel. Anyway guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be refurbishing this banana coaster. Or it's just yellow. Anyway, it is pretty terrible. It's a terrible roller coaster. It has bad pacing issues, it's short, and it only has a few elements. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna like <laughs> RMC this coaster if it were wooden and we would make it into an RMC. So we're restarting after that first drop, that first inversion, and that huge bank turn. And I wanted to make an outer bank turn um, that you would be going like 20 miles. And I wanted to extend and get the fullness out of the drop that we didn't get. We got a vertical drop, which we didn't need. Uh, so I extended this drop and made it like a GCI style drop, and it turns out phenomenal. For a roller coaster game, this roller coaster game, Planet Coaster, and how the coaster builder is, the drop turned out absolutely incredible. Um, I filled in all those areas, and I made a tunnel over the bottom portion of the drop and the first element and I made a tunnel on the bottom portion of this drop and you get some this drop was incredible and so I decided to redo that element that we had and I don't know what this coaster reminds me of I don't think you can call this thing a Gerslauer um, maybe it is a Eurofighter but the style of trains they don't look like Gerslauer uh, trains it could be a Eurofighter I could be totally wrong but I don't know it's like a mixture between the reason why I say it isn't a Gerslauer is because the track it I don't even know what what it reminds me of if you know what um, what manufacturer this is it's like a mixture between Maurer or however you pronounce it and like Mach with their wild mouse and Gerslauer Mach with their wild mouse trains and the way this looks I just have no idea anyway you guys um I built this, and as you can see, it doesn't make it up the Cobra roll, um, so I had to go back, and um, I was thinking what could I do. It was cool because we added a drop down off off this, and I don't I don't know what it, what it's like, but it, it it reminds me of Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. I think overall that's what this coaster reminds me of. It's definitely Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. This coaster right now is already better than it was previously with like two helixes and two extra inversions. It was just not a good coaster. And so I was like, it's going to take an extra episode up, but why not? This is going to be a long series and 
it's gonna be a good series as like we gotta make every ride perfect and the overall rating at in the end is incredible now you guys just saw how fast that was I'm gonna remind you it does not go this fast this is sped up times four so it doesn't actually go that fast I decided to add a vertical loop uh, vertical loop I don't know what I said just said but anyway um, kinda reminds me of impulse at Knobles that Mauer uh, looping vertical uh, uh, just the bat wing didn't work anyway it reminds me of the vertical loop and vertical chain vertical drop Mauer uh, not rip ride rocket but I tried to put a bat wing because I wanted to make this uh, <laughs> I wanted to make it a special ride it didn't work out and so I had to decide to go with another element uh, but now that we're zoomed out let's just talk about something I thought that this could this this would be good my computer can run planet coaster and when I was playing the game the footage did not look horrible it didn't look horrific uh, when I see this it looks terrible I it makes me want to like cry it, it, it just looks terrible um, anyway you guys you might see me adding in brakes I decided to make a second chain lift um, you can even read what's on the screen it's insane and the video game was crashing it crashed twice since I saved that so I didn't want to I don't want to show that and I didn't want it to crash again so I just saved it because we got really far anyway guys I decided to go with a pre-drop just like the first drop because we were running out of space do a 90 degree turn and then you'd go into your second uh, drop and the way this drop turned out it turned out pretty good but it is drawn out a little bit which I like you might get airtime in the back you might not and I went vertical not beyond vertical like the first drop but I don't think I did too great with the bottom of the drop I think the pull out on that might give you some some extremely high g-force but people in planet coaster love that so I want to talk to you guys about something really quick while I'm trying to find an element that'll work uh, like I was saying in my uh, why summer is really gonna stink video uh, I want to get 200 subscribers by the end of 2020 I don't know I'm feeling kinda crazy I think that we can definitely do it and I believe in you guys we already surpassed 130 subscribers I don't know if this video is going out Monday or Tuesday I was shooting for uh, Monday but it, it could come out Tuesday um, because of some delays and it just wasn't working anyway you guys I decided to put in airtime hill speed hill and then I decided to go for a cobra roll and then I go for another pop up like a double up or not really because I added a zero G roll and here's a ride on the second half remember this is times four speed so we had that cobra roll maybe get some good hang time and you go pop up into a zero G roll now here is where we get super super crazy because we do a bat wing now those are rare and those are intense um, so that's pretty cool I decided to go a little crazy you would probably wouldn't see those on any of these types of coasters um, B&M inverts have uh, bat wings what else Vacom aero loopers I don't know if any Vacomas do probably I'm just missing them but now I decided to do a bank turn upward bank turn uh, in the front of this Cobra roll and sadly in the end this does not work out because it doesn't complete that bat wing it doesn't even complete the first half so I have to delete everything that I just did and right now this is like looking like a true spaghetti bowl coaster you could not tell where this thing was headed next and I like even like and even but somebody who comes to this park often would not be able to tell where this coaster would go next because just there's track everywhere. It reminds me of like Terran or Skyrush, uh, but of course it's 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 not like that at all. Um, anyway, uh, I opted to go below the ground because well, in the end I did do that. I did try a few more times to make this work. It didn't work in the end, and so I opted to go through the ground and make this work because I wanted this bat wing to work we needed it to work and you see me try a few more times and I finally got it I got it and so we go with a left bat wing I make this just a tiny bit shorter because I want you to start the bat wing 
in the ground and then you're out of it like right outside but it kind of worked and so then you go into a tiny turn um, I don't really know how that would turn out <laughs> no pun intended uh, obviously it wasn't a pun uh, that was terrible anyway um, instead I just went with an airtime hill in case that or a pop-up in case that wouldn't work and now you will go on top of this little train car thing and I wanted to go for a cutback because I wanted to start making it to the brake run in that final chain lift and so I make it a tiny bit longer and I want it to go underneath the chain hill because I don't really want a head chopper on the drop I want that drop to be nice and clear and I don't know why but I just wanted that drop to be like clean look clean and not have track uh, track like that because I think it would just look way more impressive and so now here I complete the coaster I make it 100% a circuit and here is the beginning again times four speed I don't even know what's happening right now you can't even see what's happening um, while this is going on let's try and get this video eight likes that sound pretty cool and sadly it does not make that cut back so go back to the drawing board once again um, so we start over at the Batwing because Planet Coaster crashed for a third time. <laughs> we redo the Batwing and it's actually better than before. It looks way better uh, than before and I don't know why but it gave me the illusion that we started, we ended the Batwing like lower than we started it and we didn't but it, it just felt like that because the way I tried to build the track uh, it just acted like that. Anyway now we're going to build a the chain lift going back up to the station and ultimately this doesn't really work out uh, so I try and make an upwards br break one I don't know why I thought it just looked cool and I depending on the speed I wanted to make it uh, slanted slightly up at 11 degrees so the train could keep moving because those brakes won't stop the train completely uh, I went for another zero G roll we started it one track piece before we did last time and we go for a cutback and it's actually before the chain lift so I like that a lot better and now we try and rebuild this brake run because well it, it just didn't turn out and so now we build it above this last train car and the pacing of this coaster after the cutback is just terrible it's horrible I will admit that and I I knew in the back of my mind that it might not make it up there like the brake run is almost as tall as the cutback and I knew that wasn't gonna work uh, but a part of me just wanted to see what would happen and so I make like a triple up and then I just saw it was it was gonna be too steep and so I I'd, I'd go for a turn and I don't know why but I I just was like yeah I, I don't even know what I was thinking here but how about question of the day what is your favorite roller coaster if that's too specific what is your favorite amusement park what's your home park guys let me know down in the comments um, my home park is Hershey Park uh, my favorite coaster is Intimidator 305 at Kings Dominion or El Toro I lean towards Intimidator but that could change soon I don't know. More, more. I watch El Toro. The, the more I think about it, I, I don't know. I, I love both of those coasters. Uh, but anyway, my 2019 top 15 or 20 roller coasters will be coming out soon. <laughs> I, I don't know why I've been pushing that video off, but that, that'll come out soon. Um, it wasn't fitting here, so I decided to turn the coaster a tiny bit. Uh, it still didn't work. I just was doing everything I possibly could to make the chain lift in this position work because the way the chain lift going back up to the station was it was absolutely perfect like the train would roll right back in and I was sad that I had to delete it uh, for the coaster to work because just the way the chain lift took the train up and it was able to roll because it was down at 11 degrees uh, going back into the station it made me sad but anyway we ultimately have something better here and so I decided to take you into the final breaks 
And what's cool is the brake run goes out over the edge, so you'll be going pretty slow, and you'll just get to look down at a uh, hundred feet. And here we add the block section, and then we take the chains up, and I save the park because, well, the crash count is up to three or four right now, which is really sad. Um, I was having trouble with the chain lift for sure at the very beginning. Uh, I had no idea what was happening, and I accidentally deleted the station, so that was pretty stinky. And the next thing that we will fix in this video is that queue line. I don't know if you guys see that, but that is terrible. It is so long, and it just wastes so much space. We could put decorations there. We could actually decently theme our rides. <laughs> but we, we do fix that later on. But first, we have to do this. And I back this, um, this chain lift up a tiny bit so we could make it up to the top and it does work and I was super happy with that with how it turned out and I did have to speed it up because when I was doing the test it failed this first drop it reminds me so much of Steel Vengeance drop but it doesn't it, it banks deeper you get full drop out of that drop you do cut back vertical loop then you go into the brakes go up a second chain lift and then you do a turnaround, 90 degree drop, then you go into a cobra roll. This is sped up times four, guys. Just keep that in mind. You do a bat wing, followed by the uh, heart line roll, cut back, another heart line roll, or zero G roll. And then you go up the final chain lift, and here's where you get stuck. <laughs> so I had to speed the chain lift up to 14 miles an hour, which it did work. And yeah, and this ride turned out incredible. So now we fix that queue line, like I said, like a minute ago. And the turnout, I I was pretty happy with it. I made it much more manageable. We fit a lot of decorations into it, and it's a wacky queue line. I mean, this is a wacky wish. We got to have a wacky queue line. I was just going every which direction because we had a lot of space to work with. And I think overall, this is one of the first rides in the park. Guess we'll come to this and guess we'll definitely fill this queue line up, I, I believe. Um, and as you can see, I left a lot of space for myself. It's not switchbacks like the old one. I left a lot of space for myself to be able to uh, decorate it. So now I'm covering up por portions of the roller coaster. Look how long that brake run is. That brake run does look pretty nice. And down here, I decided to move the train cars into the brake run. And since you're slowing down, I decided to why not put some animatronics and, um, you know, make it like there's a fight going on. And so what I do is I put a pirates and what they call, I put a whole bunch of pirates down with guns and they're shooting at what they call red coats. Um, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, red coats in the west uh if you really push your imagination i mean yeah why not they're they're in the west but <laughs> there's a little gunfight going on on um, abandoned train cars on roller coasters break room so yeah that's, that's pretty neat i guess um now i saw that people got stuck <laughs> on the roller coaster so I had to close it because they didn't make the cutback and I never actually saw that before on planet coaster I thought that it would since it's a game I thought that you know before you even open the coaster you would be able to see that it would get stuck and they wouldn't allow you to open it they allowed me to open it and um, so then I had to do this weird thing it took me like 15 minutes in real life it's gonna take like 20 seconds for you guys uh, I had to make the chain lift a certain speed that it would actually make the cut back and uh, I had to time it right with the block sections. It took a, a tiny bit and I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I was just seeing if they would actually wait in the station. But then uh, I opened it back up and I think it's the amount of time that it takes for the people on the coaster and the coaster to leave that section of track for the block section to allow the next train on the top of the lift hill to go that it wasn't fast enough when it went off that drop and it 
it didn't make the cut back. And so what I had to do was, um, at the final break run, I had to put a block section there, and I think I, right now, I can't really see because the frame rate is terrible, but I think what I was doing was I was limiting the amount of trains and seeing if that would fix the problem. But then I decided why not put a block section right there, and then I would see how many trains you could put on this coaster and see if they would make it, uh, depending on how the number of trains that you did have on the coaster, if it would if it would make make it to the block break before it left the top of that lift hill um, in the middle of the screen. And to my surprise, it didn't because once again it didn't make the cutback. So I pulled the chain lift speed up a few miles per hour and then we tested again and it didn't work. <laughs> so then we make it a little bit faster we make it 14 miles an hour to see if that'll work and we put the block break there and to my surprise it worked so it was really cool that that finally worked out and we got this roller coaster ready and so then we opened it this is like an absolute spaghetti bowl it's a monster roller coaster I would definitely ride this uh, if you guys would ride this leave a like comment down below if you think you, this would be an incredible coaster and subscribe guys if you like what you see and comment down below if, if you love this series because I do and um, episode 5 I think is going to be pretty great we're going to work on a new plateau over the where the B&M launch coaster launched wing coaster is and yeah so now we're just planting some trees around making this all nice I go for some dead trees because they just look so cool and then I, I think these are pines I go for some pine trees and, and cactuses and I think I, I put a palm tree there and then I put a Christmas tree I, I don't know why I did this but it, it was funny I, I just put a Christmas tree down I plopped it down in the middle of the queue line because <laughs> I mean Christmas time people are happy or most people are happy why you want people to be happy at your amusement park so why not just plop down a random Christmas tree uh, so yeah guys subscribe for sure if you don't subscribe I delete your TikTok account um, like this video or else I'll, I'll delete your TikTok account if you don't have TikTok well just just subscribe because it makes me happy okay uh, yeah anyway we're building a new plateau this is ending the video next video we will uh, build on that plateau get some flat rides and yeah I'll see you guys next time new content every week uh, more music videos more coaster videos more planet coaster videos to come I'll see you guys next time remember eight likes subscribe or else your tiktok account is gone